are many things in this world that annoy me, and one of them, it's, it's going to sound really weird, is British new builds. And obviously to a lot of you that's going to sound weird, but I just don't like them. I don't understand why most new builds just look terrible and are terrible. Obviously it's for money. But like seriously, some of the people designing these places must be blind and stupid. So I found this account which uh, mirrors my feelings on, on new builds. It's called New Build Hate. Pictures and commentary on the miserable state of new build houses. If you don't know what I mean, you're going to see what I mean. So this account basically documents uh, like new builds or people that have taken like old houses and renovated them into looking um not good. So you got this house here. It looks all right. You got a nice garden. They've got rid of the garden, which I don't know why they've done. The garden was a nice touch, but you know, at least there's a bit of greenery now. And, uh, maybe they're doing something new. Maybe they're putting up some more plants, whatever, whatever. Oh, why would you do that? Are you insane? Are you blind? What? Why? That looks awful. All right, and this picture is the view from someone's... I don't know. You can't really see the gardens. I don't know. It, it seems very claustrophobic, doesn't it? There's nothing in the... There's no, like, trees. No nothing here. It's a bit sterile, I think. I don't believe this is a real house. Um, this can't be a real house. All right. Um... <laughs> this, this, you see what I mean? I mean, this isn't, like... Uh, hang on, they've got it listed on Zoopla. What the fuck? How much is this house? All right, it's 190 grand up in Nottingham. What will possess you to buy this? At first, I didn't think it was real because, like, why would you build a house that is this ugly and has no windows on the on the top floor facing forward? Uh, yeah, I don't know. New build developers are brainless. All right, so this person says this Dutch holiday company have built, like, old-style houses, and they look good. I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, we've got to bring back you know, the good old days, but I think these houses just look objectively nice. Someone's quote tweeted, this with uh, British new builds are an international embarrassment, which is, I think is true. I think it's, I don't know. I think we're going down the same route as like, uh, you know, like cheap American houses. Like being real, a lot of these bricks aren't real. These are not real bricks that are in the houses. They're like, you've got like a plastic uh, thingy and you put the fake bricks on. They're not real bricks a lot of the time. And I don't know. These ones aren't like terrible. These ones aren't terrible. There are definitely a lot worse. Like these are nice big houses. I, I think I think to pick these ones as like saying and saying they're like an international embarrassment embarrassment is just like not correct ones like this definitely are you got this one i, I don't know as far as the new builds actually no they're not it's not nice it's just really tall and quite spacious i don't know why you'd have these squat windows if you've got all this space why not just have you know nice big windows what i don't understand is right if you just build a nice looking house right it would add value to it and it would probably cost about the same like putting a big window in would probably cost less being realistic than bricks and it would look nicer i don't know what is wrong with developers honestly they're just stupid these are brand new houses in stanford it can be done yeah you see I, again i'm not i'm not one of these people that's oh, i'll bring back the good old days but like that looks nice that looks really nice doesn't it like would you rather that live in one of these like say that they're same surface area same price would you rather live in that or that like the choice is obvious isn't it <laughs> It just looks so ugly. Like, developers have to be blind. Like, there's nothing really wrong practically with it, but it just looks terrible. Make sure to check your builder uses quality print stick for gluing your window apron to the wall. My God. Yeah, no. I mean, the thing is, right, it looks fine. That's a fine looking house, but you can just tell it's like not very well done. Do you know what I mean? Oh my God. What the fuck? But I don't understand this style of new build house either. Like the, the joint on like townhouses with the, you know, the spiky tops and like the tiny windows. Like if you're going to try and make something like stylistic, at least do it properly. It won't even cost more money. Like this is just depressing, isn't it? <laughs> what, what is even the point in having a balcony at that point? <laughs> you can't even have balcony conversations. You can just sort of sit in your little cell. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Why would you do this? This is oh and why are they, not not just why are they covered up with bricks? Why are the windows so fucking small? Surely no natural light gets into the place. Whoever lives here must be horribly depressed. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. So I found out why the windows are so small. Apparently, according to this account, our windows are legal in the UK. Even the ones they included are more like arrow slits than windows. New houses have strict energy efficiency requirements. So instead of putting quality triple glazing, developers simply make the windows smaller to avoid heat loss. But sure, I, there has to be a law against this. That's like prison cell sort of natural light. Uh, so you got this nice, that's a nice house. Now obviously it could do with some work, like the roof, you know, and a bit of cleaning up around, you know, it could do with some work, but it is ultimately a nice house. So what has this person done with it? Fuck guillotine. Send them to the chair for this. Why, why would you Why would you convert this into this? Like, that is so ugly, man. That is... Oh, oh that's, that's some gaff that. Oh, that's sick. Right, so I tweeted a video uh, saying this is peak new build.
Right, okay, I mean, it looks fine to me. It doesn't look that bad. Also, this is 500k outside of Swansea. I don't know the Swansea housing market, but that sounds like quite a lot. The outside is horrible. The outside is horrific. Okay, the Twitter video player is just not playing ball. Let's try again. Yeah, I mean... Ah, Twitter video player! I was going to make a point, but I can't be asked now. Twitter video player is winding me up. I was just going to say that the fittings could have looked a bit nicer considering how much the house price was. That's what I was going to say. All right, so you got a house here, and, and I've done it. I'm going to be real, that is a bit of an improvement. It's not that bad. Like, that definitely needed work. It does look better, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm against new build hate on this one. And it's like an old house, sort of. It looks, it looks like a 60s build, so it will still have some, some good quality in it. Oh my god. Why would you do that? That's so ugly. <laughs> Dear God. I wonder how much they'll be. They'll, they'll be pretty spenny still. What? 250 grand? I don't care where that is. I don't care if that's in central London. That's a fucking ripoff. Who's paying for that? All right, so here we go. Another before picture. It's a nice, that's a nice house, right? That's a nice looking house. I don't know. It's they added more space, right? It's a bigger house, and I've added that on top. Okay, cool. I don't know. This it's it's completely lifeless, isn't it? It's a completely lifeless house. And there's another one. There's this house, which I don't know. It does need some work. I don't like that window there. I don't know why it's pointy. I don't like it. And they changed it into. You know what? There's something about that that I don't mind. It's better than the first one. It has some character to it. It's not just like white wall with, with black accents. It's got a bit of something to it and it's definitely extended on it. I think that looks a bit better. You know, I, I, you know, I might get shouted at because it is a modern style, but it looks nice, I think. This, however, is just so bland. I don't know why you'd do it. Built around the time of the English Civil War. I did not even know there was an English Civil War. Was that the War of the Roses? Is that what that is? Yeah, I think, I think that was... Fucking ages ago. Wow, surprised it's still standing. This 370 year old house has been transformed into a shopping center, dental farming, and teeth whitening clinic. Shit. I mean, it looks like a house. A lot of people have their houses done like this. I hate it when houses have like fucking shiny floors. I can't bear it. Like, aren't your feet cold just walking around on. Oh, I hate it. It's just. Uh, what the hell? 380 grand for this tin shed in E9 London. Trendy sink in the toilet, I must admit. Fucking 380 grand. What? You need to get sectioned. If you go to view this, you need to get sectioned. That's surely that's not livable. Like, where'd you s Okay, the bedroom is upstairs. That's tiny. Like, I hate to be one of those people, but why wouldn't you just go a little bit out of the way and spend that money on like somewhere a lot nicer and bigger? Okay, so this is a tweet from like a uh, home improvements place. Fucking hell, that looks, that looks pretty dire. I mean, it's a little bit better than the ones that are just all white with like black accents, but that is quite shocking still. Okay, right, so this is house, which is an obvious need of work. I don't know. You could. The thing is, right? I'm not saying keep it like that because that is obviously a fucked. That's a fucked house. But why? Surely people are just gonna stop buying this shit one day. Like this is gonna go out so quickly. This whole like paint your house white and then have like black windows. It looks not nice. It was cool maybe for like. I don't know, a year when people, when you be like, oh, that's a little bit different. But now every BMW driving veneer having person has one of these houses. <laughs> Fucking hell. Why, why is that not even central? Oh my God. The crime here is the 90 degree bend in the rain down pipe. Oh, drip, drip, drip louder than a drip. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be so annoying. Terrible, terrible. And I'll be clear, it's not, this isn't just me shitting on like new builds for the sake of it. They're just not good quality. Like they're just, the build quality of them is terrible. And they typically cost around the same amount, if not maybe more than like older places. And if you buy one, you're just gonna have, you're, I don't know anyone that has a new build that doesn't have like a stupid amount of problems because the build quality is so poor. Again, this isn't me just going, oh, no, no, oh, oh, old stuff good, all new stuff bad. But I don't know, the developers in the last like, I don't know, couple decades have really, really cheaped out on things and it pisses me off because it's like where people have to live ultimately. And like another, another type of people that does my head in is state agents. They do my fucking head in because they will sell you the most most shit ever, not tell you any of the problems, and then they'll rise. Like the whole property industry in this country is immoral on so many levels. I hate it, but it's something we all unfortunately need to go through because we all need places to live. Obviously, like it, not all new builds are bad. I've lived in new builds before and they've been fine. But you just get so many problems with so many of them. There it says a house here. Uh, I mean, I'm not a fan of, like the 60s style of houses where you got still got like the squat windows and like I don't know. I don't like that style of house. It could have some work done, but. That ain't, that ain't the answer. Come on. Come on. We need to stop with this. We need to stop with this. On my regular scrolls through Bright Move, I come across shit like this. Do people really prefer owning multiple cars to having got? Yeah, why are there, why is there like so much parking space? <laughs>
when you pay 250 grand for a new build, but you don't splash out for the luxury window package. Uh, that's that's awful. I, I I hate the British property market, I do. Well, the also the drainage just crap, the turf dies within eight weeks and everyone paves over their allotted outdoor pacing yard. Yeah, I... The thing is, another thing these have, they're just not built to last. They're built to last maybe like, I don't know, I, don't, I wouldn't even say like 10 years before everything starts going wrong. Like, they're just not built to last. They're built to sort of stand for a bit, look okay, look reasonable. So it gives developers enough time to sell them off before massive issues arise. Like, they're just, it's it's so shit. At this point, what is the, what is the point in even having Windows? <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive England's Euro 2020 teen hero Bakaya Saka swaps two bed family home he grew up in for a 2.3 million pound luxury bed. No, no doubt he got ripped off. That is certainly not worth 2.3 million. But at that age, right, those houses look sick. Like when you're like maybe like 18, 19, you look at those houses and think, oh wow, that's really cool because all the celebrities in like America live in houses that look a little bit like that. But it's only when you get like a little bit older and you sort of like look at more properties and stuff and realize like the issues that because I've looked around houses that were like first new builds second like houses that have been bought by someone and done up and they're never done right. I remember I went into one in like West London and the fucking front door didn't work. It was just, it was something like easily fixed but it was just something so simple was the front door didn't work. There was like cracks all on the walls and this was like newly done. Like a lot of the time when people renovate houses they'll just buy them do a, like a botch job just to try and get it over the line in, in the sale process because once they have your money it's, it's not their problem is it? I'm, I'm aware I'm, I'm sounding like an old man and this is probably a lecture your dad will give you but yeah. Um, it's just something I feel very passionate about. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in a bit.